Hey, what's up, flipping family? So plans changed a little bit, not too crazy, um, just because we have, you know, the crazy weather that gets in the way. Kind of show you what I'm talking about, but loading my son up in the car so we can get ready. Let me turn all the lights off. You know, don't want to get. There we go. It's blowing outside. Yeah, it's just the wind blowing. So we are gonna load up. Quite a bit to do today. Oh. Hey guys, did you notice it's it's raining today? <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah. So part of the plan was to just unveil the new name and take the truck. But guess what guys? Um the windshield wipers don't work and the part hasn't come in yet so with all this stuff coming down can't really take this big boy we'll go ahead and say the name this is big red Fred everybody big red Fred as Dan the answer man says Fred Flipstone <laughs> it's got a government name but yeah, we're going to load up in the car and uh, get on with our day. Goodbye, Fred. Next time, see, like those... When your, when your windshield wipers work, you can go on the adventure. But, till next time. Bye. Bye. I love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Can't drive. Fred today. It's okay. I'm thankful for the vehicles we have. Should be able to fit some stuff in here. We're gonna see. Gotta stop a few places and then we hit the road for a fun source trip, everybody. This is um, won some auctions on high bid last night. Gotta go pick the stuff up. And gonna head to a new thrift store I've never been to. Um, got about an hour's drive to get there. So got a little map planned out. Just wanted to drive the truck today for fun. But uh, I'm gonna stop a few errors, get some breakfast, gotta run by the bank, and then we will be on the road. myself earlier my name is Josh flips finds and fun and I just run around do sourcing show you things you can find and flip and sell I use eBay but there are tons of platforms that you can make some additional money um, finding things at yard sales thrift stores um, moving sales estate sales and even stuff laying around your house so we're just running around to go find some great stuff that we can turn into some profit and some extra money. So, about to hop into the first store now. So, oh, this is actually my first time going into this thrift store. I traveled about an hour to an hour and a half um, to go pick up some stuff from an auction. So I stopped at this thrift store first because I have been in this area before, but never in this thrift store. 
giving you a quick little glimpse. Um, those boots were $25. They seem to be in good shape, but I, you know, just like buying my stuff a little cheaper. You know, I'm a volunteer fan. I was like, those are pretty cool. Not my size, though. Walk right by the baskets. <laughs> So since this video is so long, I'm really just cutting to some of the highlights. So things I grabbed, uh, left this in because I want to look that thing up. I know it's from a movie, so I'll probably return back if it's got some value. But this is a long video, so thanks for hanging in. We will cover the um, everything we found at the end of the video. But you're pretty much going to see me jump to the segments where I found some pretty good stuff. Yeah, checked on that golf bag. Once again, priced a little too high um, for what I could get for it. You know, I've been in the coolers recently. But right over here, I saw some, you know, some closed goods. Getting my eBay app ready. It's all these filters right up top. Uh, they had them for like 98 cents. So I was like, man, that's a good purchase price. So I check them out to see what they're worth. Individually, I think they were bringing, you know, seven, eight dollars. So I've already listed these. I lotted them all together. There were six in total. So six bucks i'm gonna see if i can get you know 30 bucks for him see what we can do all right next here yeah nothing Nothing. I mean, if you guys see any toys that probably have tremendous value, you you know, a lot of you know better than I do. But I see this awesome thing here. Yeah, this thing was pretty cheap also. It was like 25 cents, I think. But with tags, dandy. It's a rattle. Uh, so it's got a little rattler in it. So it's a, like a, my first teddy bear. So yeah, um, slow for shoes for me lately. I feel like, you know, either a bunch of people are running after the shoes and, you know, hitting them up before, you know, I can. But just also, I've seen full racks, but either the thrift stores are now charging more. Or they're just not getting good stuff in. I do end up picking up a pair. Um, I believe they're on the other side, but you know, I, I'm getting, you know, a little pickier with what I pick up on, you know, what it's, you know, comp prices. You can see those boots over there. They were like no name boots. Um, so I wasn't really interested in those, but yeah, I got back over here and there were these Tevas. Found a sold comp for $35 on the exact same size and style. Guys, I literally went 0.7 miles down the road and the rain has slowed down that much. That's how inconsistent the weather is today. We couldn't drive Big Fred with no windshield wipers, but 
like I said, the part is on the way. So looking forward to having some source adventures with Big Red Fred. Yeah, still checking the Halloween section, you know, when I get to some of these. Just to see if there are any gems. You know, it's getting close to it at this time. But hey, it's still good to check out. Doesn't mean that people stop buying stuff just because the holiday passes. Just listen to this box. Alright, so had to crank the volume down really low. Standing right over here by where all the speakers are. But this is where I find... One of my best finds of all time, I'm telling you. Nope, not that one. Nope. Nope. Still nope. <laughs> you know, checking out the electronics, seeing what I can find. There was a um, combo uh, player VCR DVD, wasn't the recorder. Uh, so I didn't even like look up the model number. I looked really close at that table right there. But um, yeah, I'm kind of checking it out. But look at that little light pink vintage cassette player boombox. Yeah, a sharp QT50. Uh, rule of thumb, don't put it back on the shelf, even if you're going to look it up. Put it in your cart folks that was a error on my part but now i am going to look this thing up as you see on the handy dandy i even looked up qt40 i think it's actually qt50 i'm like okay 45 32 but those weren't the exact matches because i had to go to that one, what, 24 bids? $122? What? So, of course, I picked that one up for $6.98. What a score. So now away from all the big uh, speakers over there. Nice looking pair of Gel Light 3s, Asics. Still had some decent tread on there. They should be pretty good. Hey, shout out to Mrs. Flips. Go check the bags. You know. And there's just a North Face day pack. Heck yeah. I'll take that. I think they were asking $5.98. So $6 for it. Not too bad. And then another pretty good find. I just happened to go check through the jackets. I saw the L.L. Bean tag, and I was like, look at this giant vintage. It's like a down jacket. Um, it's got the, the, it's like the parka with the hooded cover. I'll look this up later. Gore-Tex tag. Such a great find. But hey, the rain just keeps following me. But if I keep finding deals like that, I don't even care. Bring it on, rain. I'll take a hundred dollar cassette player any day of the week. Man, I don't know about you, but that was a score. I am so pumped right now because that that right there, when I found that little cassette player stereo. Man, last one got bid up to like $120. Got that for seven bucks. Picked up that LL Bean Parka, which is selling from anywhere between 60 and $80. I paid up on that, 25 bucks. But it is in excellent condition, size large, so it's a good size. Uh, that pair of Asics, I've sold those in the past. They'll bring in some money. That was a good little stop that um, I almost skipped because on my, on my way to a Goodwill, 
I'm gonna be at Goodwill a few minutes after they open. I kinda wanted to get there before they open, but so far, so good, and we haven't even got to the auction house where I uh, won some auctions on high bid. So I can't wait to show you that stuff as well. I got some good stuff, some personal, uh, but then some stuff to flip, and we should do really, really good. Hey, Rain, bring it on. If I'm gonna find stuff like this, bring on the rain. Like, I do wish, you know, I could've drove the truck, but I'm gonna be thankful. Thankful that I have a vehicle to go source, that I, I can go source, that we can work on this business. Gratitude changes attitude. Let's get to the Goodwill. How's it going? Hey, how you doing? Staying busy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as I said earlier, not much on the shoes. Um, I, I didn't, I think, yeah, I did. I got to this place as they opened. So I think I got there like a minute late. So it's not like anybody went through the shoes that fast. Um, hey, check out my hokas since, you know, every time I lean over, that's the, the anger, the, the angle. <laughs> that I'm showing you. Um, I picked up these New Balances. I was kind of in between on them. I don't know. They had a few snags and stuff. Not that those are deal breakers. But don't worry. I ended up putting them back when I got to the checkout. Just wasn't really feeling them. But there was something cool over here. Nope. And it's above you. You can't see it. I'll bring it down though. This thing was pretty cool. Vintage just by the style. The graphic on the front was super, super good. We're gonna try our Google Lens. Yes, Google Lens, pretty cool little feature. You take a photo, gives you the history, the information, and everywhere that it's uh, selling right now. But yeah, um, you'll see a really good shot of that at the end. I do apologize for the camera work. So this was another incredible find because at the time that I'm editing this video, two days later, this blow mold Barney, it's already sold people. It's getting packed up tonight and it goes out on Monday morning. It was 325 it sold for $48. A quick next day sale. Loved it. Uh, this item here is something that you ever buy those items and you're like, you want to sell it, but you're just going to keep messing with it and it's going to stop you from actually listing it. This is one of those uh, marble mazes. I've never messed with one, but this one is shaped like the Death Star. Um, comps were kind of back and forth on it. You know, it does have some sales. It's Star Wars related. But I have been messing with this stuff for the last two days. Like, this thing is so cool. I've gotten halfway through the maze. I'm going to try to beat this thing before I sell it. We'll see. Okay. I need your opinion on this one. This looks like something that was like homemade it's on a nice piece of wood the fur felt real and if you look there was another one that was like a little raccoon over there should i picked it up there you go leaving my third thrift store and going now to pick up my online auction wins Well, I can load up all this, okay. and then yeah, I appreciate it. 
They were gonna be so nice and let me pick up that giant cart they're rolling away next week when I can have the truck down there to haul that off. They also just, I guess, want me to bid on the next auction as well. But yeah, loading up the rest of the stuff. Um, I did pretty good. Once again, I will be covering all of this at the end on this huge source day. got that loaded up you see that Ford grill that thing I gotta check it out looks like it's the summit racing one going for four hundred dollars big score told you guys I'm loving it and then I have um, a uh, marble grinder which goes for about a hundred um, pick that up the um, body mount kit for another Ford looks like all the parts are there that goes for $150 and then there was a four tier cart that um oh sorry forgot about the bike uh it's like the home bike stand where you can put your bike the back wheel on there and actually ride your bike inside um looks like that's going for about 70 to 80 dollars so all in all comps the only thing I couldn't pick up I'll have to come back with Fred it was raining today enough about that but they said they'll hold it for me. It's gonna be a cart for us to uh, move inventory around at home, so that's personal use. I paid $227 for all this. So yes, paid up a little bit. But $227 is worth it when I'm looking at probably $700, seven to $800 uh, in sales off of this stuff. So 220 into, let's go low end and say 650. Um, I'm perfectly fine with that. So we're going to try to find one more thrift store though. We've been having some pretty good luck today, but looking for one more home run. This place was pretty good on the t-shirts. Just uh, take a look for yourself. What's up? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm losing track on how many thrift stores I've hit. There's one I totally didn't even film in because I was charging my GoPro in the car and just left that Goodwill and picked up some shirts for my buddy because um, I kind of like wholesale them to him. Um, then a lady asked about my camera. Good little conversation. I'm out of town. She said, well, what is that camera doing? I was telling her, it's a GoPro. It, you can take it off of here. You can clip it somewhere else. You can film it. And she said, so it can record evidence. I said, uh, evidence for what? She said, for the people doing wrong. And guys, I remind you all the time. Yes, if you need to do it, use it for that. Totally. But I said, ma'am, you know what you can also record? And she said, what? I said, life, your kids, the fun you have the great stuff and she said yeah that's true and I said ma'am I just want you to know that's not always gonna be a bad day you can find the good in the days as well and she smiled and I had a good conversation with her it's almost like if I had a, a extra GoPro I would have given her one um, but I look for those opportunities guys not just for the reseller family you guys are the flipping family but just for a chance to just give somebody a positive outlook for the day that 
kindness and kind words do go such a long way. And maybe, I don't know, maybe she'll get one. Maybe she does have some trouble in her life and, and life is tough. But I'm hoping today that her day got a little bit better. That she just got a second to go, you know what? I do have a lot of good things happening in my life. And, you know, I say it all the time, guys. Kindness and gratitude, they go such a long way. Um, take the time. Smile at someone today. You don't know what it'll do. It, it, it could change someone's world. Um, and now back to... Do we find another thrift store? Let's see. Guys, I don't even know if this is a legit Goodwill. <laughs> it might be the smallest Goodwill I've ever been to. How's it going? Okay, I really just wanted to um, leave this part in here because once again, I like getting everyone's opinion, okay? Not on this little item, I was just checking it out for a barcode. It probably wouldn't have gone for much, but down here at the bottom of the toys, there were some pretty decent toys that I was like, okay, 55 cents each. I was ready to make a bulk buy on all of it and try to work a deal. But when I stopped myself, I said, I have so much inventory, I wouldn't have time to go through those one at a time. So what would be the purpose of buying it and then just selling it as a large lot again? So would you take that investment and get probably a pretty good deal out of it? Or just pass on it like I did because, you know, there's other things you could list. Love to hear what you think. You know, it's more so about the inventory I already have. Um, that's just a, a lot of time to go through those. There's probably some money there. No doubt about it, there's money there. But um, just a lot of small items, you know, that I'd have to go through. So I decided to pass on it, you know, when I was thinking of how many toys it was, if they didn't budge on the price, might not have been worth it anyway. Oh, that's not a Star Wars thing. That's a, uh, um... What? She, she said she I saw a Star Wars Star thing. Oh. It's, a, it's a grinder that we're looking at this morning. Oh, yeah, we were looking at this <laughs> Yeah. I guess you can play with it like the Star Wars thing. <laughs> Use it as a lightsaber. <laughs> Did you see the, um, somebody made a plasma lightsaber recently? Yes. We saw that. Okay. And he, like, burned through stuff. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I was like, <laughs> yeah, he said it got a little out of control for him. He was like... Yeah, um, I clip it on everywhere I go. It's just fun to document and stuff. Oh wow! Show people like I'm I'm about an hour and a half away from my, you know home, so I just kind of walk around. And I saw this Goodwill, and I was like, I've never stopped at it before. Yeah, so. we, usually, we usually get a few interesting things every now. This came in today. Uh -huh. Oh, cool. Uh -huh. We have a very uh, small clientele, so right. Here you go. You're like, Come on you're in. like, is this enough for you? There you go. You always, you always, I should say always, but most of the time, uh -huh. customers don't need to find in a few things that they want. Something. Yeah. Okay, so back home, 
had to rest up a little bit. Busy day, finding stuff. It's gonna quickly try to go through everything. Mrs. Flips is behind the camera, so she gets to see everything because I always like coming home and showing what I find. So this one sadly feels like it's gonna be a keeper. What you need, bud? Mm, I just want to see a video. Okay, well then you gotta <laughs> sit down. Okay? Check this thing out. All right, you gotta go sit down, buddy. <laughs> He was going to help you. Look at this. L.L. Beam Arca. I saw it. And I saw it on the top. That looks nice. It looks very cozy. It's a large. Got it for 25. Okay, buddy. Can I finish this up? Yeah. Thank you. It was like 25 bucks. Um, looks like they're going like 60 to 80. So not too bad if I sell it. Next, we'll just do the other giant uh, piece that's sitting right here. Look at this thing. This was from an online auction on Hybid. Looks like somebody did it one time, maybe had it hooked up, or they just had it sitting in the garage because it's in really, really good shape. It's got all the wiring for all the lights. So that was kind of a good thing. It came with another box. This box. Looks like it was the other pieces. Um, this is typically something that like, I'd be like, eh, but the deal was so good on auction. I paid $70 for it. Brand new, goes for 400. Something in pre-owned will still do 200 to 250. So really, really good um, find. And it might even be just a Facebook marketplace deal. This was something cool. I saw some sold comps. They were asking quite a bit. So I think you like this one. This is flips. Look at this little vintage suitcase. Going to grandma's. Going That's to grandma's. Cute. It was 525. There were some with some different artwork. This this looks really good. It's in really good shape. Um, they were all asking about $50. Uh, no sold, but I'm thinking there was about four or five listed. I think we could do maybe 35 just to see if it gets, you know, moving mm -hmm. or maybe an auction or something. But it was just really cool. And I figured if Cohen saw it, he'd probably want to take it. <laughs> Look, this cool thing. Barney! Check this out. It is a Barney blow mold. I found a year on it earlier. I'm going to make one up if I can't find it again. Oh, there it is. 1993. 1993, so this is the authentic back to the time frame of Barney's popularity. Mm -hmm. uh, this was some kind of storage for it. So got this for $325. I think it'll go for about $30 to $40. So another cool find. Um, these are in no particular order. This, I'll just show the picture. It's another one from the auction. This is one of the bike stands that you can put in your house. Um, you hook it to your back wheel and you can train on your bike inside the house. Weird object. I didn't know it was this big, but it was another one that I bid on there. Um, brand new, so it'll go open box. Picked it up for 27, but they're selling for a hundred dollars all day. So that was a pretty cool find. Got another cool blow mold. This one's from the Mars uh, Incorporated. So probably had something like Hershey or something yeah. like there. It's missing that. This one's from 1989. And the head unscrews. Took it off earlier. It's got a little storage for stuff. Don't know any comps on it, but just blow molds in general. Try to get this one listed quickly to catch for the holiday season. A couple of these I'll show that I found. And I, uh, I get these from my buddy, kind of wholesale. But just got a nice McAdoo. This is a Hardwood Classics Mitchell & Ness jersey. A nice Made in USA CSA tagged Washington Redskins vintage tee. So that was a good find. And so I contacted him on Instagram on all these. Um, he was like, yeah, I'll take them. So 
these kind of already have somebody they'll go to. Jimmy Johnson, front and back, full graphic tee. This one I had to convince him on. I said, do you want me to pick it up? Because look, look at that Justin Bieber. <laughs> but it's got the full frontal graphic. It's a big graphic, so they do go for that. It's got all the tour dates on the back. So I paid a grand total for 10 for those, and I'll get him those close to that deal. Um, as you know, he finds stuff for me. I find stuff for him. Did pick up a few vintage hats. Marvin the Martian. I thought it was even like a uh, like a Hurricanes hat, like the Miami Hurricanes yeah. down there just by the color. Uh, but it's from 1993, so nice vintage hat. This one wasn't any cool particular tag. It just had the scrambled egg, like the, the leaf pattern here. And it was a Honolulu hat, nice trucker hat, but really clean, easy. So then I know this one will do well. The Marlboro Racing Team, 1992. Mm -hmm. Nice vintage snapback. Pick those three up. Pick this up. I didn't see one like this, but there is a market for this. Do you know what that is, too? It's Minnie and Mickey. Uh -huh. Nothing like they're on vacation. From the Polynesian Resort. Okay. So a lot of them that have sold have been like the ceramic ones that look like coconuts and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Didn't see any, any of them like that were the tumbler. So, I mean, maybe not a lot. I paid a dollar fifty eight, maybe twenty bucks. Pretty good find. Another cool gifting idea. I'll ask you if you know what it is. I've seen one before. It's like a marble. I mean, I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know what it's called. Marble race something. But what's per, what's special about this one? Um, it looks like it's from Star Wars. Look at this. Oh, that's cool. It's the Death Star. So it's a marble puzzle from the Death Star. That's the only reason I picked it up. Yes, you do see these all the time. And it's not going for a, a ton. Paid 625 for it, um, pre-owned. It does turn on. Yeah. Oh, cool. So it does work. Going for about $20 plus shipping, 25. So not a huge comp, but something cool at holiday time. Yeah, just something fun. From Asics, this style, they've always sold pretty well. I didn't get many shoes. I think this was the only pair that I can actually remember. Got this. There's a special part in the video if you see the comps. Look at this radio. Okay. Um, guys, Mrs. Flip hasn't, she hasn't seen this at the time that she's recording it. Uh, last one got bid up to $125. Nice. Got it for $6.98. Pretty spiffy looking. Did I just use the word spiffy? I did. Um, don't want to forget this one. Another one I won't show you. It's a box full of heavy stuff. It is a truck, truck and Jeep accessory kit for 2008 to 2016. Blah, 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 blah. But it's basically the super uh, body mount for those vehicles. Um, it's unopened. Another weird one. I paid $24 for it on auction. That box goes for $189. So really, really good, really good flips that we got from the auction. Another walk by. Thanks to Mrs. Flips when she found the Patagonia bag. I do look through the bags now. I don't know. She may keep this one. We'll see. But look at this cool North Face backpack. It's got like the stiff back reinforcement. Mm -hmm. Really good shape. Yeah. Paid seven bucks for that, but should be able to turn a good little profit. It's in really great shape. And then, oh, I lied. I did get one more pair of shoes. Got these pool filters. They were two packs. So we'll do a lot of six of those. I think they go for 25. We paid 99 cents each. Got this pair of Tevas. I looked up comps to try to see. I was like, closed toed sandal. That was so cool. I, I turned directly to this exact pair, the same size, and went for 35 bucks. So that was exciting to find. This I have to do more research on. It's the baby rattle mm -hmm. bear with tags. But I say it in the video. Um, what's the name of the 
Coke than me. Uh, Dan D or something? Yeah, Dan D Soft Expressions. These are going $25 to $100. Depending wow. on, especially this Soft Expressions with Tag. They're, they had a bunny. So hmm. I have to look at a get more info. Once I saw that, you know, low end could be like 20 bucks, I paid 25 cents. So super pumped about that one. <laughs> the last Goodwill I go to in this video is the smallest Goodwill I've ever seen in my entire life. But it was cool because I did find this long shaft electrical die grinder. It looks to have never been used in the box. Uh, soul comps are right at $40. Uh, paid ten twenty five for that. Speaking of grinders, one of the last auction items was a concrete and marble grinder. Right there, brand new, with the blades. These are coming at eighty dollars. So, got all that at the auction. That's another good find. And then my chance items. I'll show you the the oldest looking one. It's got a few chips, but I saw that cord. Figured it was pretty old. This old ghost house. Once again, gotta list these quickly. But check these out. Yeah. Got these two. I want to try to hold all of them. That one, this one, and this one. Paid three dollars each on them. I saw a few pictures of this one at like twenty bucks. They don't have a brand on them, but they definitely will go together. Um, so I might try to lot all those together just to see what they'll bring in. But overall, I think I did pretty good. I couldn't fit the cart into the vehicle because we didn't get to bring Fred. Um, but it's okay. This was the big haul. Good day. Found a bunch of stuff. We did thrift stores, a couple of different ones. We also did online auction. Tomorrow we'll hit some hey, garage sales, yard sales. Tell me what you think they're called in your area. But just really wanted to show you, as well as Mrs. Flips, uh, all the fun stuff that I was able to find today. Thanks for hanging out. Always be sure to like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is the stuff we like to show you. Good things you can go find, how you can flip them, and how you can have fun doing it. Thanks for hanging out. We love you, Flippin' family. Have a great one, and remember to just change the world one sale at a time.